unfortunate I need to make this video. But I think the purpose of this video is gonna be very educational for anyone who gets to watch this video. Now, what's this video really about? So, one of my Facebook friends just got scammed $20,000, right? It's crazy, right? 20K during this pandemic when everyone needs money, right? It sounds crazy. You might just be wondering what happened and all that stuff. So, technically, the reason why I need to even make this video is because it's concerning Africa. And when this happened, we barely talk. I remember the only time I have really had a long conversation with him was because he took an interest in traveling to Ghana. But then afterwards, we haven't talked for a long time. But then I just received a message from him, you know, saying, hey, he didn't think people in Africa were like that. And he was also trying to make a statement. Oh, you know what? White people messed up people in Africa. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? Just tell me. And he was like, I just got scammed $20,000. And the person that I was talking to, I thought she was a woman. And later on, I just realized I was talking to a man. So basically he was what doing online dating with somebody in Nigeria. And I think what he stated in his comment or through our message in our conversation, he said the purpose of sending that $20,000 was simply because the lady, the supposed lady in Nigeria was supposed to use that 20K, the $20,000 to file for immigration paperwork and then come to him in the United States. Now, I was just listening to this and I'm like, can you send me some photos of the lady, the, the supposed lady that you just found out that was a man behind the whole computer talking to you? And the pictures he sent me doesn't even look like anyone from the continent. It doesn't resemble someone from any tribe or any specific country on the continent. So I was like, do you know even these pictures do not depict a real person from Nigeria or, you know, this is someone that looks like she is from somewhere in Northern America or, you know, somewhere in Brazil. This is not a Nigerian. And the key thing I was basically trying to imply when we had a conversation, not that I did not really feel sorry for him, Yes, that's an unfortunate thing for being robbed $20,000. And I'm gonna say something afterwards down the line in the video um, to people or our brothers and sisters on the continent. But one key thing that I realized that led to this, the scam in the whole process was because of lack of information and education about the African continent. If he really knew much about Nigeria or maybe just did some Google research. You don't have to be, you know, a geographer or maybe just a historian to know all these things. That's why we have our cell phones. We have, you know, web browsers and search engines. You need to utilize it and just Google. Which tribe are you from in Nigeria? You Google people, uh, Igbo people, Yoruba people. Just Google them and just look at them. Oh, why do you look different from, you know, the set group of people or, or tribe you claim to be from. And then you can ask tangible questions that might just raise some red flags. But guess what? He was so excited about meeting this Nigerian woman that he kept sending money, five grand, two grand, three grand, 10 grand, and then up to $20,000 before he realized all this was a scam. And if you out there and you're watching this video, please, Place is 2021. I don't really want to be so insensitive, but you need to really think and utilize the informational resources that we have these days. If something doesn't look real, just ask questions, just Google, just do some research about, 
you know, whoever you're talking to. And always make sure, you know, you meet somebody in person. You know, if you really need to do something big in a transactional form or if you're trying to even get in a relationship with someone overseas or, you know, trying to take something to the next level, just make sure you book a flight and just go there with all that five grand, two grand, third grand, that went up to $20,000. He could have just saved himself all this pain, hassle, and stress. If he could have just paid two grand or maybe $3,000 and book a flight, book reservation, and go to Nigeria to see this person first before even deciding to either take it to the next level. Do you guys have a chemistry? Don't be out there. The fact that you feel a connection to Africa, don't be too excited and just forget about using what? Maybe your brains or your senses to analyze stuff. Please, there's a lot of people out there that because of poverty, because of you know financial stress and um, strains, they're gonna do anything out there to what? Milk money out of people who are vulnerable. And it's unfortunate that it has to always do in connection. There's scam everywhere, right? But then the unfortunate thing is this image of people on the continent scamming people has, it, it's not a stereotype anymore, but it's really real out there. So you, you need to really be careful, but where there is too much financial strains and you know people trying to make ends and meet, you find people who do things regardless, people who are trying to find shortcut to, you know, do stuff uh, um, for money and all that stuff. So this video is purposely for you to learn something from what just happened to this brother. And it's really unfortunate. And if you are there on the continent and you having, I don't want to really try to advise people because people already know what's good and was bad so I'll just go ahead and save my advice but if you are watching this video if you're in Nigeria Ghana wherever you you are in the, you know around the world please please money is really hard to end we work so hard and not just money but our time our resources it takes us a lot of effort to acquire them so if you really want to help somebody, if you really want to devote your time in connection with somebody, just make sure, you know, you do some research. Make sure you really spend some good time and just make a conscious decision if this is something you really want to do. But $20,000, he was scammed for. He kept sending it for immigration purpose for a woman who doesn't even look like a Nigerian and all this while it was a man behind that computer behind that keyboard used tricks different ways to milk twenty thousand dollars for my brother this is something that I think we need to learn from to be careful out there whether it's based on relationship business whoever you you intend to to do something with. I will speak for, for the African continent, from Ghana, Nigeria, or on the continent. Just be careful. Just make sure you verify their status. Make sure you can see something legitimate about them before you take a step. This is my two cents that I really want to share. If you have any similar story, just put it under the comment below. And if you have any comment that you really want to add to my submission, just go ahead and do so. And also for those who haven't subscribed to the channel, just go ahead and just go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to smash that like button. It's free. Until then, see you another time.